back to Life is Strange, everybody. When we left off, uh, Max and Chloe just escaped the pool. But the security was closing in, and then they were like, hey, let's go to bed. And then Max was like, I'm going to take a selfie. Always remember this moment. <laughs> that was a good summary I did. Photo bomb. Photo hog. <coughs> It feels like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. Like it needs another one. I'd like to do something good for my school in Arcadia Bay. I can't even submit my photo to represent. I just don't want to be rejected. Every great artist gets rejected before they get accepted. So you have to enter a photo. Even though I'm pimping the school in town you want to torch, Come on, I don't want to see Arcadia Bay burn to the shore. I just say shit like that because I've been trying to get out of here since... since you left, basically. If I could find Rachel, then pay Frank off. I'm still leaving to start a whole new life. I wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. Oh, does the schoolgirl have a test today? Maybe. I'm starting to feel like going to Blackwell every day is a test. I just need to get on my regular school schedule again. I know that it is freezing, but I think we have to go. Wonder if I'll in her monologue if I sit here long enough. I keep waving at the taxis, they keep <coughs> turning their lights off. I'm so wiped out from last night. But it was awesome. I have to ponder what kind of criminal I've become. So last night was only the tip of the iceberg. I have to admit, it was pretty cool to take over the Blackwell gym. Today the gym, tomorrow the world. We need to step it up. We still have to be careful how I use my power. I don't want to get stuck in time. That might be all the conversation. The mask I'm polishing the evening by the morning looks like shit. This game has some neat camera angles, I'll give it that for sure. You have a heavy heart. I can feel it when we kiss. So many men stronger than me have thrown their backs out trying to live. Okay, I need to get dressed now. First you do some of the circles you haven't done in a while. Oh. Back off, Warren. Alright, I'm just going to do some of my <clears throat> morning circles. Alright. Yes, I might go to hell for this, but if it saves Chloe, we'll pay it back somehow. Wow, <coughs> I remember this old phone. We decorated it together. Oh, wow. The fact that she put the photo next to Rachel is so touching. I love this song. How do I turn it off? <sighs> At least we haven't been identified yet. Once again, you can pause it right here if you want to read any of the text that ever comes up. Thank God she's okay. I wonder when I can visit her. Seems to be it. 
Not sure what Can I check out the news on this old laptop? <laughs> Reverse order. Chloe is so damn cute. She's really trying to suss out what my vision means. I'm lucky David didn't bust me for acting like it was my part. Nice. Chloe put my pic on her phone. I must have proved I was worthy again. Jesus. Now I am glad Chloe took that money. This guy is serious and scary. That seems friendly. Frank might think twice about messing with Chloe now, but if David finds out, shitstorm. Man, if I had stayed hidden, David wouldn't be targeting me. I love this morning light. It's so peaceful. Wouldn't it be wicked if we could just hang out here forever like when we were kids? Yes. Yes, but sadly we're not kids anymore. At least you can date now, right? My dad was terrified of the day I would discover boys. Hmm. So, you never really told me if you had a serious boyfriend while I was away. Not serious. I was stupid, usually. I went through a boy toy phase. Among other things. I can't see you with any of the guys around here. Because you have a good eye. That's why I was so glad Rachel came along to rescue me. Sounds like you totally crushed on Rachel. You would have too. Smart, sexy, and sassy. Like me, right? Well, duh. <laughs> maybe Rachel would have fought over both of us. You wish. Then again, maybe. You're a photographer and she wanted to be a model. I wonder if I can, what happens if I said the other options. I love this morning light. Wouldn't it be wicked if we... No. No, too easy. And there's too much shit going on now. Oh, okay, queen of the world. I'll oh. try not to remind you of when we were besties anymore. Rachel loved hanging out with me here. She would have understood. Forget it. Oh, well then, it looks like I did get some different options. I love this morning. Wouldn't it be with Yeah. I bet you and Rachel liked hanging out here too. You know it. She reminded me of, of you when we faked sleep so our parents wouldn't make us get up too early Saturday morning. Did you guys have a lot of sleepovers? As many as possible. But it was more fun at her place. Step Commando wanted us up at the ass crack of dawn. It's cool to be back here with you. Hey, lazy ass, put some clothes on. Then we can scarf the awesome breakfast Joyce is cooking up. Well, uh... Uh... What are the other options in our conversations? I love the... When... Yes. Yes. At least you can dig... Boys are trouble. As Blackwell proves, boys are trouble. And way fucking gross, as you'll discover soon enough. Oh, okay, woman of the world. <laughs> Please tell me what it's like to get that first magic kiss. Sorry, sorry. Didn't mean to get you all worked up. I just don't think anybody is good enough for you. Besides me. Totally. I'll stick with that. Ugh, still reeks like a chlorine factory. See if you can find a suitable outfit in my fashion hole. Okay, time for some Chloe cosplay. Hey, there you go. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. She's your size. But not quite my style. Max, you don't have a style yet. At least give it a try. 
You can always rewind back to your chlorine brand t-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. I like my shirt and jeans. But it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes just to see if they fit. Stop second guessing yourself, Max. Put this on and let your inner punk rock girl come out. You can afford to take chances whenever and whatever you want to try. For example, I dare you to kiss me. What? I double dare you. Kiss me now. Boom. Damn, you're hardcore, Max. Now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance. Unless he's into girl and girl action. You're such a dork. Oh man, that was priceless when I kissed Chloe. She didn't think I would. You know what? One more for the road. Okay. Boom. <laughs> Damn. Okay. You're hardcore, Max. The first time I actually didn't think Now that I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance. Unless he's into girl and girl action. Uh, You're the such first... a dork. Damn it. Okay. I didn't think it looked like they actually kissed the first time around. I thought like she got close and then she backed away. But there it actually looked like she did, so. Alright. All right. <laughs> Looking sick, Max. A couple tats, some piercings, and we'll make a thrasher out of you yet. Ready for the thrasher. mosh pit, Shaka Bra? Maybe not. Shaka Bra. Go on down and say hi to Joyce. Free breakfast? I have to uh, wake and bake first. I promise not to tell. Let's not rewind and find out, okay? Check you out, Max. Ready for the runway. Go downstairs and show Joyce. She'll love it. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. She's loving it. Oh my god. That smells so amazing. It's like... Oh god. I guess you can pause and read that if you want to, people. I think when we were kids here. Sure. Bird. No way. That's the bluebird I saved Monday in Joyce's room. We're still in the house. Chloe has had this damn dirty pirate towel since we were kids. <laughs> Serious flashback. Why is she not more concerned about the bird in the house? Uh, the bird's not in the photo. Whatevs. Brush teeth. What's ironic is I always hated it when Chloe used my toothbrush. That was awfully quick. It feels so good to wash my face after all that chlorine. And hiding. Do you have to wash your face after you hide? You know, I haven't gone through a dyeing my hair blue phase yet. Maybe it's time. I think it's a little bit late for that, honestly. <laughs> I did that back in the day, though. I had green hair, blue hair, red hair, black hair, uh, purple hair. Um... Yeah, there might have been more. I always did dark colors, though. I didn't, like, leech it and then do it. I like tell it cool. Nobody in this <laughs> town has a fucking clue as to what's happening. Or do they? For everybody else in the neighborhood, it's just another morning. I better not go in there. David might be in bed. Ew. Get in there.
Dee 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 dee, la da dee do, let's sing along. David, this is Officer Corn. Just want to let you know, your stepdaughter's car was identified near the Blackwell campus last night, around the time of the break-ins. What? Give me a call <sighs> soon. Are you in trouble again, Chloe? Don't you sleep? Um, well, let's just erase that. Message deleted. Goodbye, message. I think Chloe has earned a break from all this bullshit. Despite the fact we stole a lot of money. Who drinks beer this early around here? Oh man, I don't want to be famous for this. <laughs> she doesn't want to be famous for helping somebody. Dead birds. Three dead birds lined up? That's fucking ominous. Yeah. Sitting in a swing always feels so comforting. I remember when Chloe and me would take turns in the swing. We would push each other so hard, we'd fly way up in the air. Chloe always wanted to swing all the way around. I always got scared and would jump off before I flew off. And Chloe is still trying to get high. Deep. All right, get up. Oh, another dead bird. I wonder how these birds died. From death? A buzzing noise. Bongo. Another dead bird. Oh, dead bird. Poor thing. <laughs> Hey, there's like five dead birds in your yard. What kind of poisons are you using? Anything else? Alright. Hmm, let's go talk to Joyce. Can I open this door? Nope. Wowza. Chloe still eats the same cereal. So do I. I love that they still have the same refrigerator. It pisses me off. Joyce looks so different in her street clothes. Good morning, Joyce. Rachel. Uh, I, I mean, Max. Uh. Oh, you startled me. Well, you fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want to chow on. Let's go pancakes. I'm dying for some of your famous pancakes. I thought you would have missed those. Ah, you ate more than William, and he loved them. <laughs> I remember. We would race each other to grab them from a stack. So this time, you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me uh. the eggs and milk. Eggs and milk? No problem. Okay, we can do this. 
I don't mess this up. I love that they still have the same refrigerator. Oh, I messed up. <laughs> Where the fuck? <laughs> Shouldn't the milk be in there? Is it on the table? Okay, it is. <laughs> now for the mother's milk. What? Where are these eggs? <laughs> like what? They're not on the table. Bullshit, Joyce. Know it. Come on, Max. Find those ingredients so we can chow down. Uh, don't judge me. Open. Where do you put you keep the eggs? Why would they not be here in the kitchen? What the fuck? Okay, well. Keep eggs on the couch? Like. Oh. Uh, geez, can you help me get this bird out of here? Uh. Maybe. The eggs always come first, as Joyce used to say. Can I slide open the door for the bird and just like leave it? This is just gonna take me outside, isn't it? Yep, leave it with your milk and eggs. Oh, they're mine now. Thanks. After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so much of her. Such Those a hers. sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in L.A. I'd love to think that too, Joyce, but... We are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or wherever she is. Um... Be honest, Joyce. Do you think Rachel is okay? God, I hope so. She was, is, smart. And she always landed on her feet. Maybe I don't know her as well as I thought. Maybe Chloe doesn't either. Sometimes I feel like I don't know Chloe as well as I thought. <laughs> Max Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? Maybe. Maybe. Rachel was so much cooler than me. <laughs> oh, you think? Then why has Chloe been telling me she wishes she could be more like you over the past five years? Doubt it. Um, did she really? Five years ago feels like a thousand now. And that makes me what, a century old? Yep. <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, youth. If only I could go back. It's not all that, Joyce. Voila. A breakfast fit for us queens. And a king. <laughs> Go sit at the table. How did... Okay, no, she's at the stove. I didn't think she was at the stove. I was like, how did she make the pancakes? Go on, grab a seat, Max. I'm almost done whipping up this amazing breakfast. Um, okay, that's going to be where I actually end this video. And... On the next one, I will be eating some pancakes. Thanks for watching, everyone.